What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here and today I'm going to show you how to fix the Steam error missing file privileges error code that you may be facing on your device, right? So let's get right into this. The first thing you want to do is you want to obviously have your Steam open, as you see mine is open. You want to right click, cl uh, sorry, you want to click into the top left where it says Steam and then you want to click into something called Steam settings which is going to make you come to this page here. You want to then click into storage as I have and you'll become you'll be brought to this page and then you want to click into these three dots and you want to press repair library. This should be the first thing that helps possibly fix your issue because again it's related to some files replacing or repairing the library should help possibly fix this. If this doesn't work and it's only happening to let's just say Call of Duty for example right you want to right click into this you want to hover over into manage and then uh, sorry properties. You want to click into properties, you want to go to where it says installed files, and you want to do a verify integrity of game files. So if it's happening to a specific game, let's, it could be all of them, but you want to start with this. Let's just say it's COD, like I said, you want to do verify integrity of game files, and then let it run from here. Um, if this also doesn't work, that's perfectly fine. The last thing we're going to do is, same thing, click the top left and exit Steam. We're basically going to close it out. You can either close it out from there or you can close it out from here by right clicking into it or from task manager by right bottom clicking at bottom right, go into task manager, finding wherever it says Steam and right clicking into it to end the task. Once you do that, you want to find wherever Steam is and if, you, if most likely it's on your desktop, right click into it and go into properties. We're going to go into compatibility we're going to change the compatibility mode to run this program in compatibility mode and we're going to keep it at Windows 8 and we're going to do run this program as administrator. You'd be surprised a lot of times running something as administrator makes these errors go away because something may have happened in an update or something of the sort like as you saw recently when an update broke something, something like that can happen in a Windows update in some way, shape or form that causes it to break. So usually running it as administrator bypasses a lot of these issues that can happen. So kind of doing this helps fix the issue. Press apply, restart your computer if possible, and then go from there and you should be good to go and you should not have this error persist any longer. So yeah, that's basically it. If you guys are with the video, please smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification button, and I'm welcome out. Peace.